All right, we'll try this again. Tried to do a video yesterday of this, but it just didn't work out as well. So did a short. So anyways, you may have seen our other shorts on we don't need a console to make music, but we have a console. Um, today, though, this is kind of a short-ish video. It's not going to be quite as long, hopefully. We'll see. But uh, we were at our local music ground here in uh, northern Colorado, and this guy behind us was sitting in their shop. So we decided to trade in the Ignator amp. Yes, the Ignator amp, the Rebel 30 that we did a video on earlier this year. Uh, decided to trade it on because we weren't quite getting the use out of it that we thought. Um, also, uh, just, you know, thought it'd be a good trade. So we traded it in. We did. We got pretty good payment for it and bought this guy behind us. So um, if you've seen our shorts um, that we've done on this video, it is a Soundcraft uh, Series 2. Um, I think it's early 2000s. Um, can't quite remember exactly, but um, I'll kind of show you the back here in a moment um, of what the back of it looks like. But the front is, it's 32 channels in, I can't remember how many outputs, it's got eight buses that we're gonna use for um, busing things into Luna. Um, we're gonna bus, you know, drum mics, whatever we want, kind of into Luna and get that going. And then also um, we've got some direct outs. Every channel has a direct out. So we'll have some direct outs from every channels, inserts. Um, but you may have noticed we had a big rack here that was part of the desk. It is now gone. Well, it's not gone, but it's it's put away. Take everything out of it, put it in a rack behind me here. Um, I'll maybe include a picture of that. And then, um, you know, we just kind of did that and moved it yesterday. So um, I have tested the mic priest. They do sound really good. They've got um, a nice warmth to them um, like analog consoles do. Um, we weighed some things. We thought about buying some 500 series preamps and stuff. And I was like, you know, it's it, honestly, this is a much better deal. We get 32 preamps, 32 EQs, all in one package, really. So um, haven't found any issues with the uh, the console so far. Uh, they checked it out, said it was good. And, um, you know, that's just kind of where we're at. The... Uh, the channels on it, you know, you've got you've got kind of 16 here and 16 on the other side, kind of split in half. So we've taken the first 24 and made them our input channels. So our live room, we've got 24 inputs from our live room and various other places. And then we've got uh, another um, set of, I think it's eight. Actually, it's 16. I take it. So the last eight of the of the console is going to come from the Apollo as kind of our main um mix essentially from you know kind of our summing from luna um if we choose to do summing through luna through the console that way or we just want to have some you know want to run it through the board and back in uh, we probably will we'll probably have at least a stereo set of channels that does that then after that we have four stereo actual stereo um so we'll have four stereo eight mono um coming into the desk that comes from the computer. Now that, that basically sets that we have, um, the four stereos will probably be our main actual outs from Luna or from Luna into the board to do our mix bus compression and EQ that we do. And then back through the board. Um, I haven't quite figured that section out yet, but um, we have some options. So we've got, um, two Lunas or two Apollos that we can kind of patch wherever we want. Anyways, um, that's kind of today's video. It's not super exciting. It's a snowy day here in Colorado. Um, I'm kind of in my pajamas a little bit. You can't see it, but uh, that's kind of where we're at with this. Um, it's going to be a great desk. We're not completely set up with it yet. We've got quite a bit of patching to still do on the back of it. we got patching all our outboard that's over here. Um, we do have a new uh, Pultec EQ that's coming that's gonna go in the 500 series rack that we're kinda excited to use because I do like Pultecs on like my kick drums and snares and stuff like that. So, you know, thanks for watching. You know, we've got more coming. You can always check us out on YouTube. You can check us out on Instagram. Check us out on Facebook. You know, there's multiple places our website if you haven't found it. But anyways, um, you know, we are appreciative of everybody that's watched and liked and subscribed to our videos and our shorts and all that, but 
you know, we always want more people. So if you find these entertaining, you like them, you find them informative, just kind of fun to watch, you know, hit that like and subscribe and the bell button. You'll get notified when we do new stuff like this. So um, that's today's video. And, you know, we'll just see you next time. Thanks for watching.